All right, getting an early start this morning. Hope you're having a beautiful morning wherever you are. Today I'm going to talk about a concept that probably destroys more people who attempt to start their own online gig than anything else. It starts out with a story from way back. I saw someone posted on a social media said, an entrepreneur is a person who figures out what they want to get done and then says, all right, how am I going to do this? And then they, they learn it and do it and drive on. And this is completely and totally 180 off of how it's going to be done if you want to actually succeed. What happens is a person who is self-employed makes a job for themselves. And that's exactly what you're doing if you decide that you've got to learn every single thing there is to know about your business and then do it yourself. Now granted, you got to know enough about what you're doing to make sure that someone's not ripping you off. But in the end, you don't want to be the expert on everything because you'll never get anything done. So if a, if a self-employed person creates a job for themselves, so what does an entrepreneur do? They they create and produce jobs for other people. What that means is, if you want to get something done, you don't say, how can I learn to do this and then do it myself? You say, who can I hire to do this for me that will do it faster and better than I can and at a lower cost than I would have to pay or use up to do it myself? And when you think that way, you understand that what you're doing is you're the mind, you're the brain behind the operation that puts things together and directs other people to accomplish their portion of a mission so that your vision of the whole will come to fruition. And I was listening to, uh, yesterday to another guy who put it the way, this way. He said, it's not the how. It's the who, not how do I do it, but who can I get to do it. And this is weird because almost everybody thinks that they have to do things themselves. You're, you learn to do things instead of going going out and having someone else do it. It's, you're, it seems like everybody's brought up that way. And yet, those are the things that you have to shift your thinking on if you're going to succeed in business because it's a completely different way of thinking from consumer to business and if you don't pick up on this if you don't shift your thinking to understanding okay my mission is to make sure something gets done to provide a product or a service to people who will pay me for it and the difference between what they pay me and what I pay other people to actually do the work is my profit kind of like a mediator. It's, it's almost like a market maker. There are people who buy and sell stocks. There, there are market makers who make sure that they have liquidity so that everybody can buy and sell when they want to. And that's almost the same type of thing because you are a facilitator. And one way to put this is you're not the person who does things. You're the person who gets things done. And It's hard concept for a lot of people to understand, but you get paid far more for getting things done than for actually doing the day-to-day work. I'm trying to make this as clear as possible so that it doesn't come off as saying, oh, you just don't want to do anything and you want to get paid. Well, that's what everybody wants, but that's not the point. The point is the person who can direct experts to do their portion of a thing and then they they have their vision and they know how to put it all together that's where that that vision and the ability to put the thing together is what you're going to get paid the most for so keep that in mind as you're going along don't attempt to learn and do everything yourself find the people who can get it done faster and better than you can at a lower cost and when you put those people together that's where the magic happens that's what i got for today I'll talk to you tomorrow. I'm out.